Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy, our cameraman is Henry, and today we're going to take a look at the Palomino SS550. This truck camper is compatible with a half ton, three quarter ton, or one ton truck with a five and a half, six and a half, or an eight foot bed. We'll get started on the outside. You'll notice we have the cool gray gel coated fiberglass. Um, this color is also available in white. However, we stock it with the gray. The entrance door is a friction hinge entrance door, so no door latch on the side. You simply open it and leave it right where it is. We also have the integrated shade, uh, so during the daytime you can open that up, let some extra light inside. Oversized grab handle to help you in and out. Um, right up above here, you'll notice a little black box. It is pre-wired for an observation camera, so an observation camera will allow you to see behind you the entire time as you're traveling down the road and while you're backing up. With truck campers, it's a neat feature because if you're hauling your boat or a Jeep behind you or even a trailer, you can keep an eye on it as you're going down the road. Outside porch light, do have the on and off switch right here for it. Um, you'll notice the jacks for the roof are all electric as well. And there's four jacks, two in the front, two in the back. Um, the stabilizer jacks come with the manual jacks on the soft sides. You'll notice the um, crank handle comes with it. Also an adapter for a cordless screw gun. That is also included so you can run it up and down with the screw gun. Also like to point out, you can upgrade to electric jacks. Um, we would simply switch out the head and reprogram the brain for that. This would be the remote for the roof and would also become the remote for your jack. So you'll notice that there's gonna be a uh, red light up here and the red is for the roof and if you hold it, it will turn green. And green we say is for ground, so that would allow you to use it for the um, electric jacks then. So the remote's pretty cool. Upgrade to the electric jacks and it will be for your roof and the jacks then. Moving around to the side, we have your outside shower. It has hot and cold water with the coil um, pullout sprayer. It is a 30 amp unit with a 25 foot detachable power cord. Down below is gonna be your sink drain. The sink water will drain right out the side of the camper. You would wanna use a hose and a tote to catch that runoff water. On-demand water heater, which means it's gas only, but it's only using gas as you're running hot water. So it's, I believe it's about 60% more efficient than what we've used in the past and also lighter weight. Outside 110 recepts here, your furnace vent and your refrigerator vent, excuse me, your refrigerator vents right here with the condensation tube. And you want that hanging out, sorry, that condensation will go on the ground, not inside the camper. Right here is your fresh water fills, your fresh water tank. Um, it is gravity fed. So you would just hit, hook your water hose up right there. That'll fill the fresh water tank. And down below that is your city water. So if you're at a campground or at your house, you just hook the water hose up right there and that will pressurize the lines for you. Moving underneath here, um, the camper is powered by a seven way cord. So on the camper itself is gonna be the same plug-in you'd have on the back of your truck. The camper comes with a double-sided seven-way male cord, plugs in here, will run all the way down the back of the camper and plug into your truck. And that will charge the batteries as you're going down the road. So if you're gonna park overnight, I would unhook this or unplug this here. So that way, if your batteries happen to die on the camper, it will not drain your truck batteries as well. A 12 volt cutoff switch, so you can kill all power to the batteries. A little hanger for the seven-way cord, so you can put it right here. So it's not just hanging on the ground. And then also you have a charge port right here that goes directly to your batteries. Um, if you have a portable solar panel, you can alligator clip it there, keep your batteries charged. We do have the four inch bumpers and also your battery box sits right inside here and it is vented out the front. As we move around to the front side here, you'll notice the black canvas, the front um, black as well. Gives it a real sharp look. And right over here on this side, it will come with a 20 pound LP tank bottle and that will be filled by the Outpost RV for you. And also to show you the windows, we have the emergency window popped open here, um, but they do have tinted windows on it as well. And I believe that concludes the exterior walkthrough of the SS550. Now we'll head to the inside. And before we move to the inside, we wanted to show you a trick with the canvas. Uh, right now we have the roof lowered down a little bit and we have the vent fan turned on right behind you above the bed. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to step inside and close the door behind me and you'll see that with that fan on it creates a vacuum which helps pull in the canvas. So as you're going to lower the roof to close it before you have, uh, load up, you can use this little technique here and it makes uh, pulling the canvas in much easier. 
So I'll close the door and I want you to take a look at the canvas. And it pulls it right in. As we move to the inside of the 550, point out a couple features here. Um, you have a 110 outlet. Directly below that with the green light on is where you're going to turn that on so the remote has power for the roof and the jacks if you upgrade to that. And right beside that with the red button is going to be for your on-demand water heater. You can control the temperature there and turn that on and off. And we'll get a nice overview of the 550 before we step inside. And we'll go through the rest of the features here. The 550 does offer an actual residential size queen mattress, so it is a 60 by 80. You also get the foot locker storage on both sides. And right up above there is gonna be that large power vent fan that we were just talking about that we had turned on um, that helps suck in the canvas. We have these uh, large overhead hanging uh, bags up here for storage. With those, you can actually unhook them, take them off, take them inside, load them up, and bring them back out. Your refrigerator is a three-way. It is 12 volt, 110, and gas as well. Also like to point out some storage directly underneath the bed right there. Those will fold down and you'll have some storage there. In the kitchen area, it comes with a two burner stove top and it has the glass cover. So you can use that as prep space if you are not cooking. Also with the square sink with the faucet. And down below here, is gonna be your furnace with the grates in front and a little cargo net for some extra storage down below for some odds and ends and a storage area directly underneath the sink there. We'll show you the back by the entrance door here with that blind pulled down. You'll notice there's also another vent in the very back that has a fan in it and a middle vent. So if you were to ever upgrade and add an air conditioner to it, we would actually take that vent out right there and drop the air conditioner in that opening. You have more storage up top here and down below with the dinette. This will turn into another sleeping area and you'll see that with pictures on our website. Down below in the carpeted piece that will lift up. The table leg can stow away down there or you can also use that for some extra storage. Behind the dinette is gonna be your thermostat down below and that will control the furnace for you. Up above, you have 12 volt and 110 power there and some extra storage and countertop space right above that. Last but not least, down below in this carpeted step, that is going to be where your battery box is located, your water pump and fresh water tank. And down below that, the black switch is for your water pump. That will turn that on and off. In the middle with the green light is your carbon monoxide detector. And on the far left there is your breakers and fuses. And I believe that concludes the walkthrough of our Palomino SS550. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you guys and have a great day.